And then, and the reason it won't let me do a decimal is because it's in general format. So let's actually select these cells. Let's select the entire worksheet, actually. I'm gonna select the entire worksheet, right click, format the cells, and I'm gonna make them currency, negative numbers bracketed, no dollar sign, and let's add the two decimals. So now I'm gonna say, okay. So now we can see them a little bit more uniform numbers. Let's do the same thing over here. I'm gonna call this BA 2022H for whole numbers is what I was thinking, or I'm not even sure it's a W whole number, but it's gonna be this times 100. Okay, so now we've now we're we're represent representing it not at 0.25 or 25 percent, but rather uh, 24.6, which represents the same thing, 24.6 you know, percent. Okay, so so we can compare the data now this way. I can look and sit and look at the look at the data comparisons uh, for the two. I can try to sort them and whatnot and look at them this way and compare them but it might be useful to then build some tables with it. Now, uh, another thing I, I could do is make a histogram with my data thus far, so I can select this data set. And so notice one data set is longer than the other. That also causes some difficulties, but that's what statistics you know, is kind of for, to kind of help to deal with these kind of difficulties. I'm gonna say, uh, sh control back to get back to the top. Let's insert. Uh, charts and make a histogram. So I'll say this is the histogram for the uh, 1920. So 1920. And you can see we have some outliers. You know, this one we maybe could have uh, trimmed, trimmed off possibly, but you, and, but you can see that it's hovering around the 22. So we'll say, okay, it looks like it's somewhat symmetrical. So I'm going to say that probably could lend itself to a, uh, a bell curve that we'll generate. And then this data over here, let's do it for this one, 2022, control shift down, control backspace back up to the top, insert charts, histogram, boom. And so we have that one. And this one has all of these buckets out here because we had some more kind of outliers on the high end. Let's say if I sorted this from Z to A, yeah, we had these, so it probably should have trimmed off maybe the 75 uh, out there. But in any case, uh, you can see it's somewhat, it's, it's somewhat still kind of a bell-shaped type of curve. So we're gonna try to use our analysis of uh, the bell curve to analyze these data sets, because that'll help us to give us uniform things like the z-scores and whatnot that we can make comparisons with. So 2000, let's say this is gonna be 2022. So I'm gonna say, all right, so now we'll see if we can start to build some stats with this stuff and our tables. So if I'm gonna go back on over, I'm gonna say, all right, let's do, let's make a skinny H and we're gonna do our calculations for like, uh, let's say this is gonna be our data and we're gonna have 1920 and 2022. I'm gonna make this general formatting so I don't have a number format. Home tab, numbers, drop down, general, and then 